So in this video, we're going to be doing two things. First of which is retransmission of a small clip from a radio station. So we're basically going to listen in on a radio station for 10 to 15 seconds and then retransmit that clip onto a different radio station. And then similar to that, we're going to do live broadcasting where I'm basically going to speak into the microphone on the computer and it's going to come out of a radio station. So basically almost skipping this step. They're both very similar, so we're going to do them in the same video. Um, so for for retransmission, we need the, the receive um, FM radio receive flow graph that we made in the first tutorial and the transmit graph that we made in the second tutorial, because we're going to use both in conjunction with one another. Now, for this one right here, we have it set up so that we can listen into a radio station, change it, change the volume. But we don't actually have a way for it to save at all. So that's the first thing we need to do, is we need to actually have it saved to a file on the desktop. So we're just gonna, we're gonna look for a block called wave file sync and put that right below the audio sync. And we need to change a couple things on this. First off, we need to set a path. I have a file on the desktop that's just called uh, retransmit, so we'll save it to that. We will replace whatever is on it. The sample rate, we're going to set to whatever the sample rate is here, so it's 48,000, so we're just going to set it to 48,000. And we're going to change the number of channels to two, otherwise we're going to have problems with our, our WAV file. We need both the sources because they also have both a real and an imaginary input, but we can just have the imaginary input be a constant input of zero, which won't affect um, the sound of our audio at all. So we're gonna take this and put this in the top input to the wave file sync. And then we're gonna grab a constant source block, which will just generate a number for us. You're going to press down to change it to a float type or the orange block instead of blue. And once that's done, we're just going to connect it to the end of that. Now we're going to just grab a small clip from the radio for about 10 to 15 seconds. And we can move the volume up and down. And then just turn it off and we'll hear that in the video itself. Now, that's all good. And make sure when you close it, you click on the red X in the corner, like I did instead of up here, otherwise your WAV file will not save properly. So you need to close it with, with the window instead of actually within the flow graph itself. It's just something weird that GNU Radio Companion does. So otherwise you're going to get an error that says you have your WAV file has no samples even though you can still listen to it on the desktop it just doesn't save properly so now we're here in our transmit blocks and we just need to change a couple things first thing we need to do is change what file is going in so first it was our radio test and now we're going to change it to our retransmit now if you remember our radio test had a sample rate of 88,000 and this has a sample rate of 48,000, which isn't exactly half, but it's pretty close. So what we're going to do is we're just going to half the interpolation as well so that it stays consistent and our video or our audio clip doesn't sound sped up or slowed down. Um, if you don't change this, one of those will happen depending on what it would be or um, what you did because our sample rate was twice as much in the previous one if we left this at 90 our video or our our audio sample would sound twice as fast and very sped up so if we do this now we should listen to that small audio clip on 87.7 so you can hear it get louder and then eventually just fade out. So those all work. And with that, that's how you retransmit. And now we're just going to move to live broadcasting, which we don't actually have to change that much for. 
So for live broadcasting, all we need to do is delete the wave file source, and we're going to replace it instead with something that's just called an audio source. And all all this is is just your computer's sound card, similar to when we had the audio sync in the tr in the uh, receive tutorial, which just played the sound out for the computer. This will take in any sound through the computer. It has a built-in microphone and we're going to hear it come out of this. Now the sample rate we're gonna to set to uh, 44.1 thousand, just because that lines up a lot more evenly with what we have on this. Uh, we also need to change our sample rate to 44.1 thousand, since we did set our sample rate on, on um, the audio source to that. We're going to connect these together. We're going to keep our rational resampler the same. And the last thing we need to do is we do want to set our sample rate on the Osmocom sync back to 2 million because we do want a decent sample rate going through here. So we're going to unlink it to that. And now when I talk through it, it'll come out on the radio station. Now sometimes it's going to. Now, sometimes it's going to. So you can hear it do that. Uh, sometimes it's going to under uh, undersend samples, partially because I'm recording this and this laptop can only handle so much at once. That's part of the problem. But as you can see, for the most part, it was able to keep up with it. Um, if you do this while not recording, it's going to keep up a lot better, and your live broadcasting will be a lot more efficient. Now obviously we're using the antenna that came with the Hack RF, so it's not the most, um, it's not the most like um, powerful antenna in the world, so it's not going to transmit very far. But you get the general idea of how you can transmit to a radio station uh, to a fairly short distance. And with that, that is how you retransmit and live broadcast um, signals from the Hack RF to a radio station. And that covers all of the tutorials for um, FM radio for receiving, transmitting, retransmitting, and live broadcasting.